Hello there, and uh, thanks for joining me here again, and uh, another dog training video. And um, this here is Belle, English setter female, seven months old. And as you can see, we have quite a strong bond. Now that didn't happen by accident. Um, Belle has been with me since she's approximately 10 weeks old, and uh, I've been working on forming a bond with her ever since. And basically, <coughs> good care. Forming a bond with your dog is a very important part of training. It's much easier to train your dog if you have a strong and solid bond with your dog. So it's actually a vital component. Um, from the earliest days, it's very wise to spend as much time as you can with your puppy and to just be with it and become its friend. Now, Belle is an English setter and they are a soft and gentle breed and respond very well to soft and gentle treatment. Other dogs, different breeds of dogs, require slightly different training, uh, maybe a slightly different training regime. Um, it's not a case of one size fits all. So, I haven't done a whole lot of training with Belle to date. All I've done with her is I have her recalling. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to demonstrate, um, show you a little clip of when she was much younger and um, how I started training her for recalling and now how she's responding to the recall. And one other thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to introduce her to stock, i.e. cattle, cows. Um, it's very important because the land where I hunt is farmland and you will I encounter farmyard stock all the time. So it's important that the dog um, be introduced to stock and that there's no adverse, um, we call it, um, that she doesn't react negatively when she sees stock or that. So I'm going to go about that here this morning. So I'll talk a bit more about it as I go along. So there's a field just out here now where, our, where there are some cows. Bear in mind, Belle has never seen cows before, so I'm going to keep her on the lead um, while she first catches sight of them. And then, depending on her reaction, I will probably let her go. And um, hopefully, the cattle are quiet and don't, um, don't approach her too boldly, we'll call it. And I hope that she responds positively. So, here we go out into the field now, so stay tuned. Now these are the cows and um, I've deliberately chosen the cows in this field because they are very quiet and they're used to dogs because many people um, use this place to exercise their dogs. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to walk down here with Belle on the lead and just see how she responds and watch out for any negativity or any possible um, problems. So here goes. Now, just before I do that, I almost forgot. Here's a little clip of Belle when she was just three months old when I was teaching her to recall. Now, this will be her very first time hearing a whistle. Belle, 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 come on, come on, good girl. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get down low and I'm going to call her using the whistle. Good girl, good girl, plenty of praise. Good girl, Belle. Come on, Ben. Come, Ben. Ben, Ben. Come on. Good girl. Good girl, Ben. Good girl. That's it. Very simple. Um, blow the whistle, get down low, and they'll naturally come to you when they're that age. And you continue to do that every time you bring them out. In my view, um, the you know, in my view, the um, the recall is probably the most important part for me um, in gun dog training. Once you can call your dog back, you can then do other things with the dog. If your dog won't come back to you, well, then you've got a problem. So again, just once more, Bell. Good girl. 
Just seen I've walked Belle through the cows out here and um, she didn't seem to be very perturbed by them at all so I didn't see any real negative reaction from her a little bit of nervousness but that's the expected luckily enough these cows are quite quite quiet so um, what I'm going to do now is there's about maybe 60 70 yards space between me and the cows and what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow Belle off the leash this time to allow her to run around here now she may run up and even approach the cows out of curiosity again, but I'm hoping that when I call her back, that she responds immediately, which will, pr which proves basically that my recall is um, sound. So, okay, Bev, come on, go. Come on. Go on. out very well she ran up to the cows again naturally enough curiosity but uh, she came right back on the recall so I'm very very happy with that so next time I bring her to cows or other livestock um, she would pay less heed to them and as the time goes on she will completely ignore farmyard stock and get on about her business which is hunting so I'm really really happy with that and um, this goes to show you and emphasizes the importance of the bond once you have the bond with the dog, the dog will trust you and it will make it much easier to train your dog. So, once again, thanks very much for joining me and um, keep an eye out for the next video. If you hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon, you'll be notified of any future videos. And uh, thanks once again and the video on Kea Ella Big East Line.